When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? Black funeral. Doesn't go to wedding. wedding. How about don't care? Yeah, but for 12 grand, I can build you a dam. Botanical I'm sorry garden. To ah! A thousand. No, maybe around two thousand. What? I wake up, I go to work, I come home, I do wedding stuff. I go to sleep, I'm dreaming about wedding stuff. I wake up, same routine, over and over and over again. Weddings are a moment to take someone's hand. Weddings can be complemented by a live band. Weddings are when budgets start to expand. Meet Chinsia and David, just married. Sticking to their vision required a maneuvering over some icy financial patches. So let's take a look back and follow the trail that led to their big day. My name is Chinsia, I'm 32 years old, and I work as an executive assistant. I met David, a recording studio owner, one day when we were attending hairdressing school. Neither one of us ended up a hairdresser, but fate brought us together on that day. This is the story of how we planned our extravagant dream wedding. What I envisioned our dream wedding to be was very romantic, sexy, gothy. I wanted to walk in and feel like I was in a fantasy. And I think that's exactly what we got. Absolutely. Even our budget was fantasy. <laughs> Well, the wedding may have been a fantasy for Chinsia and David, but their budget was met with some harsh realities. So let's take a closer look and see what really happened. I guess our main expectations of the wedding planner was to keep us in budget, because we gave a set budget. It was very tight as it was for the amount of people that it were. Very easy to get out of control. Yeah. Enter wedding planner Claudio Perry. With his five years experience and shared Italian background, could he keep Chinzia and David on track without having to say arrivederci to their budget? You're incorporating feathers, you're incorporating berries, you have silk flowers, fresh flowers, you have candles, so the elements are going to add up. My role as a wedding planner is to listen to the bride and groom and communicate their dreams and aspirations of their wedding and turn it into a reality. So, Dave, Chinsia, I was hoping to get a better vision for your wedding. What is it that you're seeing for that night and day? Well, I'm hoping for, I think we're, we're both on the same page with this. We're hoping for something a little gothic. Okay. A little bit of a sexy feel. We're, okay. we're looking for like really rich colors. Something a little almost, different. Almost like a Dave Navarro, Carmen Electra type of feel. Okay, right? okay, so very yeah. romantic, very dark, a lot of rich colors. Yes. Exactly. Beautiful, heavy fabrics, I would yes. imagine, a lot of layering. Sexy. Okay. You decided on a small wedding, a fairly large wedding. Well, we I really don't liked, think we had a choice. We would have liked a sort of intimate wedding, but I don't think it's going to happen. Not with an Italian family. <laughs> now, were we thinking along the line of maybe 300? I wish. I think I have 300 400. We're looking closer to five. 500 guests. Yeah. Okay. And hopefully we don't get 600. I need to know a guest list ASAP. As soon as possible, we need to know what numbers we're playing with because that's going to take up quite a large amount of the budget. And I know it may not seem important to you right now at this point, but it is going to play a huge, huge part and factor in regards to how many centerpieces, how mm -hmm. much food are we ordering, how many rentals of chairs or slipcovers or whatever it is we're doing. It's also going to play a part in the amount and cost of invitations. So there's a lot of unforeseen costs where you can say, we'll deal with the guest list later. No, we need to deal with it now. Next to budget, the major source of stress is the amount of people that we have. You want to try and keep it intimate, not ridiculous, like we're throwing a gala, not a concert. Payment. Is this something that you are going to venture off and pay for yourselves? Or is there going to be external parental involvement, maybe? Well, you know what? As of now, we're taking care of it on our own. But okay. who knows if our parents are going to help us. You know what I mean? Any help is great. But as we're prepared to take it on our to own. To take right it on right yourself. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's how we're planning for it right Excellent. now. Excellent. Wonderful. What about invitations? Were you looking at a more traditional or? Uh, we definitely don't no, want to go traditional. We, don't want we traditional. really Wonderful. want to do something different. We're not really sure what we want to do yet. But we want to try and take people by surprise. That's our 
whole thing. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about the meal. We're having a full course meal. We Your typical oh, yeah. Italian dinner. Yes, <laughs> well, we're, nice. we're trying to make, not typical, but they have everything that they're used to. Well, speaking as an Italian, we bitch. never eat enough. So we're always <laughs> eating, especially at a wedding. Wardrobe. Every bride always envisions themselves. <laughs> you know, we don't want to give away too much here, exactly. but are you thinking of... I haven't what kind of bride you'd like to be. Yes, okay. definitely. Very gothy. Okay. Very Victorian. Yeah, perfect like word. Because Sexy. Can I see the engagement ring? Sure. Beautiful. Absolutely I nearly beautiful. froze when I bought that ice. So with a ring like this, I can't wait to see what the bands are going to look like. What were you thinking on in the lines of decor, flowers? Were you thinking of something small based on the centerpieces or were you thinking height and drama? Height, drama. Excellent, I love yeah. height. I'm all about height and drama. <laughs> Are you having a head table? Yes. Yeah, okay. That was my only request in the wedding. Okay. I'd like a nice setup head table. Well, usually, I don't know how you feel about this, but I like to draw a lot of attention to the head table, creating I a big agree. backdrop mm -hmm. yeah. and a lot of like hanging decor and really making that the focus and center exactly. of the whole. You got exactly what I wanted. Perfect. I'm getting from you a very rich, luxurious, Victorian, gothic type of ball. Am I getting a feel for this? Absolutely, you got right it. on the money. Okay, so speaking of being on the money, show me the money. Let me know okay. what's going show me on. Show the money. <laughs> Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? There'll be crystals hanging from everywhere. Excellent. All right, you guys will a party. Yes, we will. Coming up. Black, honey. Are you sure the family's going to take well to that, though? I don't care what the family thinks, to be honest with you. I was such as beautiful and just more outstanding uh, in the white dress when she was walking down the aisle. So, uh, no, she really did stand out. I didn't notice the other people around her that much. That's oh. <laughs> the right answer, right? <laughs> when it comes to planning your wedding, the first thing you need to cross off your list is procrastination. I need to know a guest list ASAP. There's a lot of unforeseen costs where you can say, we'll deal with the guest list later. No, we need to deal with it now. And at the end of the show, we'll reveal if Jincia and David's indecisiveness resulted in financial disaster. We really wanted our invitations to be spectacular and set the tone in the theme of our wedding. Sure, Donald Trump theme. But I'm a little more reasonable than that, don't you think? Yeah, you were, absolutely. <laughs> reasonable? Maybe. Realistic? Definitely not. There was an invitation that I saw online. It looked like it was in some kind of box and it had this ribbon that was With a brooch? really... Was that a brooch? Yeah, it's actually right behind you. That's the one. This one in particular is $36. Okay, forget about that one. <laughs> I think this one in particular should go That's back on the wall. That's a little out of our budget. What were you looking to spend? About $5. Did you have a certain color in mind? Rich reds. I'd like a black wedding invitation. Black, that's <laughs> very striking. Um, not quite your traditional wedding invitations. You're making a very bold statement. Yeah, I'm kind of a bold kind of person. I'm the most non-traditional person. Black, honey. Are you sure the family's gonna take well to that, though? I don't care what the family thinks, to be honest with you. Okay. We come from a typical Italian family. I don't know if that's gonna Come on, Melia, my well sister, you're them. supposed to... Back me up on this one. Mel, you know. know your parents are not going to be happy with that. I know that, and neither is the rest of the family. I don't think they're going to be too thrilled about opening up a black invitation. Black funeral doesn't go too well wedding. with wedding. How about don't care? Be careful, David. That may come back to haunt you. If you kind of want to compromise, you could do it in like a cream or a white, like the jacket, and then have accents of black inside. I would like when people open the envelope to pull out something black and wonder what the hell is going on. I just can't envision it. I think it's too scary. Do you want to add in the scary red? for me too. It's my wedding. I'm black? I really like black. Okay. I guess that settles that. Black it is. Do you like the style of the pocket fold? I really like, like this. this. Here's the black. Sweet. What are we talking about? A look like this, you'd be going at around $8. Times 500 people? <laughs> yeah, but then, you, well, really, what do we need about 300, to 280? And that's with the gold envelope. And that will be with the gold envelope as well. Nice. That I love it. Awesome. I love it. I was just concerned 
for our budget boy. because of you. <laughs> but if you're happy with it. I'm happy. I, I love it. Poju Black would be good. My parents offered to pay for my wedding dress, and um, I had my mind set on a particular designer for many, many years. So I was really happy that I was able to get her. And I was really happy it was a gift from your parents. I bet you were. OK, so where do we start? Ooh, I really want something uh, Victorian. OK, and you want like 18th century. I want sleeves because it's winter. Here. Well, you know that's my thing. Yes, Victorian I know. Victorian is my thing. This is actually wow. really gorgeous. It's silk taffeta. It's that's French beautiful. lace. How much does something like this go this for? This one's $85. $8,500? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, not $85. This is one of my newer ones. Yeah, this is a stunning gown. I really like the way that looks. Yeah, that one's beautiful. Yeah, this is gorgeous. And we can add sleeves. Is it the same price over that one? No, there? no. This this one, the way it is, is a little bit less. It's not as ornate as the other one. This one's fifty six hundred. Mom, are you sure you still want to buy this for me? Yeah, this is my price. <laughs> well, this is that your price is, point. Yeah. Well, this is the after base. we see. And I'm sure my dad will be happier yeah. the cheaper it is. <laughs> okay, so you know what? She's not going to get sleeves. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> because this is 5600 the way it is. Oh, we're going to add to it. Yeah. We're going to add sleeves. We're going to add jewels. You know, we're going to make the skirt bigger. You know, you probably want to... It's going to be your gown. So right? you're going to be the same price over that one there? It might be. So I'd love to go downstairs and sketch it for you. <laughs> All right, it's in my head. Well, I hope it's only a penny for your thoughts. Yeah, she could work with us, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. For the, the, the money I want to spend, or mm -hmm. what? I don't know. We'll have to see what, what she comes up with. Yep. Sorry to keep oh. waiting. Okay. I wanted to make it perfect for you. <gasps> oh. Wow. But you have to see the price, too, now. So you're going to be looking at about 75 Expensive sleeves. Like it? I love it. But I don't want you to feel like you have to do something. But, you know what I mean? Well, for two, three thousand dollars more, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, you think Dad's gonna I agree? Think so yeah. Dad goes along with whatever oh. you say, anyway. <laughs> Price schmice. What's a couple of thousand when it comes to a daughter's wedding? My mom and Dad knew I was waiting for this day for a very long time, so they didn't care what I did. I think they were fi finally glad to marry me off. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> You're crying. <laughs> because she liked it. When does she oh. like it? <laughs> wow. Look at the details on this so sketch. Yeah. Never had anybody cry over a sketch. <laughs> How about a cry over the price? Oh, it's not finished yet. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Stop it, you're making me cry. It's so cute. Oh, oh, oh my god. You know, I think that's when it hit your sister that, wow, her brother's getting married. What about when it hit you that you were getting married? Yeah, I guess that's when it really hit me when I saw the looks on their faces. I love it. Did you hear that squeak in the voice? <laughs> the white gown may have been an easy sell, but what about the black invitations? Tina, come on, we're going to look at this invitation. Oh, so this boy. is it. <gasps> I the moment the you've been waiting for. <laughs> oh my God! Let's. Oh, that's a gorgeous that. envelope. Oh, it's gold. It's nice. Whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, that oh means my nice. God! <laughs> I knew they were gonna get that. That's reaction. what I was waiting for. Oh my God! That's I knew that was black. Coming. Everything's in black. No. no, no I <laughs> For the way people. It wasn't my idea for one thing. Yeah, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Because Dave, you know what? Wedding. The oh. black represents We're bad luck. We don't but... have these superstitions. That's right. Yeah. We don't. So it We're doesn't matter school. to us. We don't believe in it. How am I going to explain it to Nana that black is, is <laughs> you know, your grandmother? I warned you guys about the black invitation. I you knew supposed you were going to be gonna the get a reaction. Reason. And I totally was. Yeah, but, but Melly, you guys like it. You know it. what? You got to think, you know. We were brought up like this with I these, understand with these that, but it's their wedding. We knew yeah, we were going to get that is. reaction from people. They're back. beautiful. Yeah. They're beautiful, yeah. but I, my concern is the black. Oh my God! It's you know what black. I'm concerned with? Get over I'm concerned it. with everybody. Stop worrying about what everybody does. Just come to the damn wedding. Have a good time because we're going to have a hell of a time. Black invitations, purple invitations, white with yellow polka dots. I don't care. But I don't know about this black. You know, it we is. Know well, you it's better live with it. a little too late. You better live with it because <laughs> it's too late. I know this is done. So these are going out. So whether you guys like it or not, these are it. Well, my family, you've now you're in my family, so you know how outspoken we are. I, I, don't, I think we were all born without the block between the brain and the mouth. 
my vision of decor was walking into a fantasy land. Um, I wanted something really gothy and Victorian and sexy to go along with the whole theme. I pulled some fabrics out. Um, you gave me a little bit of indication as to colors and what kind of look you were looking after. I'm actually looking for something a little gothy. Gothy, sexy. Right. There's a very, you know, out there couple and they don't want to do anything too safe. So we're not afraid of anything. Do you want to do something with black? Black. <laughs> Did you There's say the black, black again? again? <laughs> if you want to incorporate that gothic. I would love that. I'd like to see something like that. I think this is probably. But now we're talking. <laughs> Yeah, this is yeah, that's what quite spectacular. Oh, that's yeah. nice. That's not all black. <laughs> it's not all black. No, it's got your dark burgundy. It's very rich. I love it's the texture. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's a hard to accept, but you know. I like it. Very, that. very rich. And I'm it would work with the seats black. that we have at the hall. Are you, you thinking of really... possibly getting chair covers? Uh, I, I really don't think we're going to cover our seats. Um, the hall does have shiviari chairs with gold, the, the backing's gold, and right. I think it would work with this. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. You have everything beautiful. And now you don't want the chair covers? We're like, talking how many seats? Like maybe 500 seats? Please. It's well, like sliding into yet. a silk bed on a, on a wooden bench. You know what I mean? Okay. You're not gonna put... <laughs> That's, well, I, that's, that's what right. you're getting into. This it, is what I'm mean? talking about. And your mother doesn't want this her guests is... to have a splinter in their no. bones. Yes, but what about a splinter in your financial assets? Would your mom allow you to go with a black sea color? Oh, God. What about a gold? Let's have it all gold. And it would take away from the darkness of the table and just brighten it up as well. And how much gold will that cost? That's perfect. I'm sure it's going to look like a paradise. I can see it now, and I'm so excited. Everything is falling into place. Yes, everything is falling, except for the budget. Now, what are we talking per seat cover? <laughs> the satin chair covers are 450 each. OK. Our budget's ever increasing, my dear. I'm going to buy the chair covers for you. No, no. Yes. No, please, please. I want to do it with all my heart. <laughs> listen, listen up, kids. It's <laughs> part of the budget. She's going to take the class. You know, oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Mark, take Thank it you. easy. You yeah. have Are to you have, have it. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm excited. Oh, I have to I'm excited. Let it go. Mama knows yeah. best. Coming up. <laughs> like, I'm chintzy. I'm walking into my, yeah. ready my party. And then all of a sudden, whoosh, I'm going to have a heart attack. My dad's walking me down the aisle, and he said, this is going to be the last time, right? <laughs> I said, yes, Dad. <laughs> when dressing up your wedding, sometimes you have to weave your wants in with those of your parents. You're going to be looking at about 75. I don't want you to feel like you have to do something, That's... you know what I mean? Wow. For two, three thousand dollars more, it doesn't matter. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if Cinzia's mama's tastes resulted in a big, fat, and expensive Italian wedding. I wanted to take Claudio to our florist because I wanted to make sure that he was feeling our vision as well. Um, sure, sure, you just wanted him to approve my feather idea. My feather idea. <laughs> Really? Okay, I give you credit for that. Thank you. Hi, Chinzi, how are you? Is that our centerpiece? Yes, I just tried oh, to... Uh, cat! I just tried to, like, put it for you. That's cool. All we're missing is some silicone and some stilettos. Okay. It will be good, honey. I love yeah. it. Okay, we're so... trying in all the winter elements. This is cool. Do I get to wear one of these? Sure, if you like. I like it. You don't I'd like, like it? I don't know, maybe like a black rose? Or... Black? Yeah, like you black. Mean black. Black magic? You want black, black. magic? Black, black magic color? roses. No, like black roses. I, I, what? <laughs> Would you like me to write it down for you? Black roses. Um, this is a wedding. Not a funeral, a wedding. It's OK. It's just something cool. Yeah. Who else has yeah, black look, roses at a wedding? These kind of look black. If you look closely at the detail, there is some darkness and some black in the yeah. depth of the rose. But you don't want to have a black rose. Did you get a chance to work the numbers with what we discussed over the phone at all? Yeah, I, I tried to put some numbers together. So based on like what you told me before, like uh, bouquet, boutonnieres, uh, church, and the decorations and the centerpieces, to be around like uh, around seven thousand to nine thousand dollars. And that includes the church as well. Yeah, including the church as well. Seven wow. to nine thousand. And you're concerned about money at this point? You don't have to worry about gone that day. And you don't have to worry about the other deposit that we made, and you have no 
what, where what, to use it. What other deposit? The other deposit we made, and you decided to change your mind at the last minute. So seven to nine and 20, whatever it was, is almost $12,000. Right, but do you remember the other quotes that we were getting? Yeah. OK, and what were they? A little bit more of a heart attack than this one. OK, so you have to consider what we're getting for this price. Yeah, but for 12 grand, I can build you a dem. Botanical I'm sorry garden. to interrupt here, but did I hear another deposit someplace else? Yeah, honey, tell them. Where did these two, three thousand dollars go? When we first got engaged, I got really excited and wanted to get everything done right away. So I went to someone, gave them a deposit, and realized that was way over our budget, and it would have been ridiculous. So I started shopping around, and I found Cap. With regards to some of the other places that I've seen, that's a pretty and good price. Some of the elements that we are incorporating. But they're into flowers. This, it is a very good price. But, but it's they're our flowers. Way. I know, How but expensive you know what? Flowers, flowers are and very I don't mean to be. I know you just met me. I don't mean to. <laughs> I understand men and women. But I hope women you understand my concern. Yeah, because everything's a waste of money for them. Yeah. Well, not a waste of money. It's just, it's a lot of it. You know what okay, I'd like so to you'll use? So you will fill me in at another time then, right? Who's got the martini? Because I'm going to need one right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think Claudio totally saw your vision right from the 100%. beginning. 100%. Which made me very happy, because then the transition was just very easy for you two just yeah, to we, do what we, you got to do. We had the same taste, and it was like I would throw out an idea, and he would just end it. While Claudio easily shared Chintzy and David's vision, a harder sell was Sandy, Claudio's assistant who had some definite ideas of her own. Oh, isn't it great? It's stunning. It is absolutely stunning. You know what I really like about everything? Because all the walls That'll are very That'll make some neutral, great, uh, great shots, too. Yeah, if we, of you know, bridal party. drape it and whatnot. There's, there's no Chintzy and Dave in this room right now. That's because We're the wall bring... itself is rich. Yes, but it's a matted color. There's no color on the wall. So we're going to play up all the rich tones. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I'll always make it right. What colors are we talking about? We're talking about burnt oranges and reds and golds and... It's tacky. More like tactless, Sandy. No, it's ornate. It's Baroque. It's Rococo. It's ornate. Like, you see this set up? It's great. It's plain. I've seen it a hundred times. It doesn't interest me. It's too blasé. We're going to have a big, beautiful wreath hanging with candles. Lots of candles and white feathers and gold so candelabras. Hold, hold, hold Lots on. of crystals. Did you say feathers? Feathers. We're bringing in the outdoor elements of a winter feathers. wedding. So they're going to be around the centerpieces. I'm not into feathers around centerpieces. You know what? Potter. Don't be hung up on it. Wait till you see them. I'm talking what are those and you're screens? not writing. Tall Tell me what is it? If People they're don't high like enough, they will be covered. You're shouting. You're shouting. Okay? Just, I'm trying to give you the vision Go. here, please, okay. okay? So from behind the head tables, there's going to be crystals cascading down, looking like icicles, like a winter wedding. And that's where the white feathers tie in, a soft fallen snow. We're going to have feathers beautiful, rich... Feathers to rich... represent snow? Yes, they do. I'm not crazy about some of Claudio's initial ideas with the tall candelabras. I'm not crazy about the chair covers right now and big knots, and definitely not visualizing feathers. Come on. Here's your glasses, and let's go. I had a very good friend of mine that, you know what, has this balloon company. I wanted to surprise Chinsia, so. And that you did. So we need that big element of surprise, really knock yes. her off her feet. Does she like balloons? I don't care. It's just a surprise, which I wanted to do something really cool. But you want a good surprise, not a bad yeah, surprise, Yeah, I think right? it'll be good. I think she'll like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's be the work looks beautiful, but yeah, I'm surprised. I'm so Thank you. What's going on with these balloons? It's just a surprise. Plus, I was always well, waiting I'm for Alex to do quite surprised. Something. All I know is that you got no choice, is... eh? So either you get used to them or so we got to make it work. Eyes, still figure yeah. it out somewhere. Yeah. I'm not a balloon person. Why? What's wrong? I, have I understand balloons. 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 You have a she... balloon phobia? I do. From no. when I was a kid, like balloons Why? popping, the noise. I just hate yeah. No, balloons. she's truly, truly, truly. It's you're like kidding. you know, kids with clowns. A phobia. Me with yeah. balloons. Yeah. balloons. Oh, you're kidding yeah. me. The phobia I have is something not going with the theme. Black and white is just what I chose. Okay, cool. Do you have champagne balloons? If this thing is really happening, she's got everything. If they make it, Al's got it. That's right. Because I'm about how it looks and decor. Those not those going to be the. I'm about people dropping. Again, example. I chose. Example. Exactly. Example. What about the cost? Cost basically for per each one of these columns, they're $300 each. What? what? And pop goes the budget. 
$300 worth of balloons? Mm -hmm. These are special balloons. Aside from her entering the actual banquet hall and seeing these. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mini balloon release. <laughs> How did that happen? I, by remote no. detonation. My hair just parted like this. See, I got this whoosh. Do <laughs> you see what I'm talking about now with the surprise? That's going to terrify people. They're like, I'm chintzy. I'm walking into my, yeah. ready my party, my, and then all of a sudden, whoosh, I'm going to have a heart attack. You know what? The only thing I can say is that this is going to be a surprise from Dave to his bride. And Chinsia has a fit or if Chinsia loves it and if Chinsia hates it, it'll all be Dave's work and Claudia will have nothing to do with it. Thanks, Claudia. <laughs> there we go. Did you like it? I loved it. Good, because it was I, good. I, I did not expect that at all. Coming up, I wake up, I go to work, I come home, I do wedding stuff. I go to sleep, I'm dreaming about wedding stuff. I wake up, same routine, over and over and over again. We start arguing together. So what I do is I just let her talk, let her, <laughs> let her just go pretend on and that on. I'm, I'm deaf, and I said, you know what? Whatever. You're right. <laughs> when it comes to making major purchases for your wedding, it's important to make sure your budget doesn't go bust. <laughs> like I'm chintzy, I'm walking into my yeah. ready my party, my and then all of a sudden, push, I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> And at the end of the show, we'll unveil whether Chinsia and David managed to keep their budget from ballooning. I got pretty overwhelmed and maybe was a little hard on you. Oh, I remember this time. <laughs> Aren't you pretty excited that we changed the menu? I mean, I don't, I don't think that's one thing we want to, you know, compromise yeah. on. I don't think I want to chance out on the food either. No, not at all. That's the most important part. But you know what? I'm a little stressed out about the price. I know, me too. What is it, 10 bucks a head? That's another 5G. You know what, though? I, think I don't it's... know. Every time I start talking about budget, I get this sick feeling in my stomach. You, me too. Well, that's one way to lower the budget. You'll eat less. I wasn't thinking about all those other added costs, you know? <laughs> so that's, but you know what? I guess that's something we'll just have to wait for. The only problem is, I think, with the, because our package is, is fine. It's usually no, the going No, I'm happy with right? our package, but it's then just, it's, it's like we need to upgrade this, upgrade that. It's all these hidden costs all the time. But at this point, what the heck are we going to do? What are we going to do? It is too late. There's so much crap. Like, it never stops. You know what I mean? It's always this or that or yeah. here or there. Dave, I wake up, I go to work, I come home, I do wedding stuff. I go to sleep, I'm dreaming about wedding stuff. I wake up, same routine, over and over and over again. And what do you think I do? Go to work. Yeah, it's nice sure. for a groom. All he has to do is show up that day. Yep. Yeah, nice. That's the whole part about being a groom. Yeah, good for you. You know why? Because grooms don't dream that they're princesses and having their white shining knight in armor or whatever the hell you call it come and sweep them off their feet. No. <laughs> we wait so that somebody will take the position of our mothers. Oh, we'll take is that care right? Of us. Is that right? Yep, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Maybe to you should have told me that before. I guess I felt like I was doing everything and I felt like I was alone, although, you know, I have a little bit of a problem of asking people for help. So I knew you were always there for me. So I take that all to back. Be. Oh, I hope so. Thank you. I think Claudio did try to keep us on track with our budget. I know there were certain areas where he was a little concerned, but he also did see our vision. So, you know. Claudio was. Every second one was budget, budget, budget. This is the Hobomaniano that's going to be packaged and prepared okay. for everyone. It's quite extravagant. And usually you get just the bottle of wine, but yes, you've got without the case. some these accessories. We've got a pretty good deal on these cases. These, and we bought these wholesale, so we've saved by actually and wrapping the them yes. and doing it ourselves. Yeah. These were in budget. This, we were this was in budget, and this, um, I know you had to go and discuss and do some changes with the menu. Yeah, well, yeah. So the cost is... Yeah, the menu has changed a little bit. We're pretty much staying with the same food, but just the quality of the food. Basically, with all the little changes we made, we're probably looking at around 120. We're not 100% certain, though. That's like a rough... rough we haven't been 100% certain through the whole process, <laughs> so I, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. But I just want to know that, like, that's $10 a person, 500 people, that's $5,000. $5, $5, $5, yeah, so we're he's, taking, he's figuring it out. Yeah, yeah, no, I know you're the numbers guy. But that's why. I need some place to take money from. Where else can we cut? We're not cutting there. Yeah, we're not cutting <laughs> no. there. They're going to be in for quite a rude awakening by realizing how much money they spent. They don't want to be controlled, and they don't want the reins and the strains of a budget to be holding them back. So we'll just go with it. Sandy. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, fine. Oh, Stuff! <laughs> yeah, sorry. Talk and work. And you can start stuffing as well, Dave. Because yeah, I am stuffing. I'm stuffing my ass into this chair here because it's <laughs> phenomenal. There'll be plenty of time for lounging, David, after the wedding. 
I think just having a band pretty much just picks up the night that one notch. Well, even the whole entertainment for the night, right down to my brother singing, I think our, our wedding, we tried to keep it very interactive with the audience because... And make sure people didn't get bored. I was interested in knowing if you have anything for me to hear since I'm here. Yeah, Claudio's worried. Because if I'm putting you into my schedule, there better be a <laughs> song and a performance on my well, schedule. We won't hey, I got an idea. We're in the studio. Why don't you play it? <laughs> I told you it was a bad idea to meet here. <laughs> <laughs> that worked. <clears throat> Ready when you guys are? Yep. Yeah. Three, four. Consume this pattern. More likely. Now, realistically, this song is going to get done, right? Yeah, you don't okay. have to worry. My brother's. Where is this playing out? For that. Okay, I know you're not going to pay your brother for writing you a song. That's obviously a gift from the heart. And if it doesn't affect my budget, uh, I'll be very happy. It will not affect your budget whatsoever. What will affect your budget, though, is the decision between a band and a DJ. <sighs> well, budget-wise, you know that a band is going to be ridiculous money. Oh, absolutely. And that's why I think on your budget, a DJ would be a better investment, even though... I know the music industry that you're in, and a band would be more suitable, but realistically, are we willing to compromise the budget? I don't have any compromise. I will not compromise with this. But how much are we talking about anyways, regardless? A thousand? No, maybe around Two thousand, what? Six thousand dollars. <laughs> I need to know, is this thousands that we're talking about going to affect everything else I have to do. Because if it's going to compromise other areas of the wedding, then it needs to be discussed. Well, we're going to have to sit down and see pretty much how much it compromises anything else. I don't yeah. think it should be too bad. I just don't want to compromise my night's music on money. The ouchie on the budget. It, it ouches me every time yeah. I think about it. But <laughs> there's just some things that you can't compromise on. The rehearsal was an absolute tornado, I feel. It came it in, it was so like It's so overwhelming. It's so hard to... It was like an assembly line. Do this, do this, do that, do that, do that. That's do the that. way it is, because they got to get through it so quickly. But it's so hard to even grasp what's going to happen but that Claudio day. Claudio was the funniest. Claudio was quite hilarious. Yeah, then if you want to do it this way, no, you have to move it further, one further up. Yeah, because there's two best men, so we're going to be crowded at the front. OK, stand against there. Yeah. Chris, right here. Yes. I like the way everyone has come down the aisle and stopped and waited, but I have to say, I don't like her coming in between this group of people and your gown. You're taking away from her beauty, and they're going to be blocking a lot of you of the bride. I no, think if she stops... I'm sorry, that's the way it's going to be. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Something tells me this isn't over. I think the biggest problem we're going to have after tonight is rebooting this whole entire bridal party thing because I'm not happy, and I know Chinsi and Dave are not happy, but the priest was completely up to no suggestions. I don't want to obscure your guest view of you by having, especially on the groom's side, you know, five men broaded and black tuxedos blocking their view. I kind of agree with Claudio and the way he was going. I do agree that the ushers and bridesmaids should go in the pews before I walk up. So I think we're just going to go with that. Some plans can't be broken, but we can break them. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. Let's go home and eat. Okay. Coming up. Okay, because I got here and I'm having a heart attack. There's one, two, three, four and a half tables that are not dressed at all. And I remember the outfit I had when we left the uh, reception was a, a, a new suit, but the size of the tie had to be like six inches wide. It had all, it had all hearts. Yes, all yeah, over. We, we still have that. When discussing the cost of your wedding, it always helps to keep an open mind. Are we willing to compromise the budget? I don't have any compromise. I will not compromise with this. But how much are we talking about anyways, regardless? A thousand? No, maybe around Two thousand what? And at the end of the show, we'll reveal if flexibility saved the day or if David and Chinsia's budget was the only thing that did bend. Oh, my morning was great. The day of the wedding? Sure, because you get to wake up at what, 8 o'clock? No, I got up at 7. I had to wake up really early. I was actually out the door at 4 a.m., I believe. I'm getting married today. <laughs> Just to let you all know, I'm totally calm. Like, I don't feel nervous at all. Be nervous for me, because I'm calm. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, this makes it real. It makes it real, right? Wow. OK. Oh, my God. Oh, 
my God, oh my God. <laughs> Are you going to the limo? Uh, no, 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 to the green no, no, driving myself. <laughs> as long as I look good, that's all that's important. That's not all that's important. Oh my God, Dave. What do you like? This is my little man. Oh my God. I'm gonna start hearing that again. My little man, my first boy, you look so handsome. Thank Dave, you. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. Oh, can I give you a hug? <laughs> You're not the only one who could use a hug. Gorgeous. Where are them? These aren't draped. I really need to check my files and make sure that all those tables are there. Hi, this is Claudio Chinsi and Dave's wedding coordinator. I'm just calling because I just got to the banquet hall. And my concern is with, first of all, the number of chair wraps are not consistent. I'm still waiting to see where the other ones and when they're going to arrive. Oh, okay, because I got here and I'm having a heart attack. So he's bringing four tables. What about all the other tables? Yeah, there's 12 tables that are dressed that have like a greeny champagne color, like a pale, pale gold, like an unmatted gold. Very different. And there's 12 of them dressed like that. And there's one, two, three, four and a half tables that are not dressed at all. She called someone and they'll be here at 3.30. The weather's not even stressing me out. Whatever. At this point, what the heck are you going to do about it, right? As long as my dress doesn't touch the floor, we'll pull it up over my head. It's all good. <laughs> Boots are good? Yeah. No tears. This is no, good. No, no tears tonight. Nah. And make sure we get rid of the back fat. <laughs> While Chinsia was getting things tied up, Claudio was busy with some loose ends of his own. Um, basically, we're going to do what Chinsia wanted and everyone come down. So as soon as the flower girl and ring boy walk down, that's his cue to get your bridesmaid. You're going to offer the girl your arm. You're not going to latch onto the girl. You're going to offer the girl your arm. And you're going to walk down just like practice. you would do. Just they practice it, please. You weren't there. If you would have showed up, you would have known what I was talking about. <sighs> you're going to do the exact same thing that you did. What? Just pretend Chinsia has already gone past you guys. Pretend the flower girl in the ring Claudia, boy is Chinsia. You don't think that changing things is going to upset the priest? If the homily stinks, things. it's your fault. Yeah. You are going to wait with your parents the way you want to do? We're going to walk down the aisle. OK. With your parents? With my parents. The priest doesn't want him to do that either, but that's what Dave wants. So No, I'm that's gonna... what my well, parents that, want. So that, that's they a want little it, different. If they want to walk The bride through. doesn't want to walk through a whole bunch of people. How is that different? Because this is so we're still not doing what the priest is saying. OK, so it's a homily is screwed up. <laughs> it's, it's your, your fault. fault. Walking down the aisle, waiting to see Dave was amazing. I was just all smiles. I really. Until you saw my shoes. No. <laughs> That was the first thing I noticed, actually. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the ceremony was great for me. I think I married four different women. It was great. The priest was calling you all kinds of names, so. Everybody mangles my name. That's oh, it was, it was the greatest. I married a Cynthia, a Cynthia, I don't Cindy. know. Cindy. Cindy. David and Cynthia, have you come here freely, without reservation, to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Yes. Hi, David. Take you, Cynthia. Take you, Cynthia. To be my wife. To be my wife. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. Take you. Take David. you, David. To be my husband. To be my husband. Cynthia. Cynthia. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Cynthia and David Tedesco. <laughs> Coming up. Okay. Watch it. Do you want me to? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I would do it exactly the same way. I would do it exactly the same way. In fact, I've tried to talk my children into doing it that way. They want show-stopping extravaganzas. <laughs> when it comes to your big day, you want everything to be perfect. Gorgeous. Where are the living? These aren't draped. Oh, OK, because I got here and I'm having a heart attack. Soon we'll reveal how much cash Chinsia and David spent to make their wedding anything but ordinary. The only thing that was a little trying was taking all those pose pictures. I, I hate posing. I think it's so unnatural. It was just an assembly line. Shut shutting down. Yeah, shutting Sorry? What's up with this dress keep tucking underneath? Well, it's 700 feet long. 
And from picture perfect to a perfect presentation, the odds were stacked in their favor. Well, until... Hi. Hi. <sighs> it's beautiful. OK. Let's just carry. You want to carry? You want me to carry it together? Sandy, away from him. What? She's, She's just... me. It's heavy. No, it's move. Let's go you want me to help? Yes. Awesome. OK. Watch it. Do you want me to Oh, my god. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Claude. Oh my God. Holy cake drop. Let's see that again. Okay. Watch it. Do you want me to? <laughs> Looks like Claudio was shocked into silence. Claude, I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, this happened. Claude. I'm so sorry, sir. I, I, it was slippery. This is. Uh, Oh my God, oh my God, why is everything going We can't. Do, why is, is everything there a point? Wrong? I guess we have to. Frank, is this Frank? Okay, this is Claudio from Chia David and Shinsia's wedding. As they were coming in, they slipped and the cake is on the floor. We need an emergency cake. We need an emergency cake on the double. The cake is totally destroyed. There's nothing salvageable on this. The flowers? Do you want the flowers? You've got enough roses? Oh my God, okay. I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. Are you going to kill me, Claude? You're my angel right now. Thank you. You're I love you. Are you ready to kill me, Ciao. Claude? Claude, I'm sorry. Can you not freak? This is everyone's big secret. No one knows that the cake was on the floor. I'm going to kill you. I'm sorry. I'm not too worried because we did go with one of the best cakeries in town, and, um, We'll have an emergency cake, a duplicate. We'll look no different, taste no different, and arrive here in one hour. Thank God for cake insurance. Tickly He's going to have me a cake in, in, in one hour. Not to worry, everything's fine, he knows the cake. I know him, I know Frank very well. I'm so sorry. Not to worry, I'm so sorry. I can't it's all right, it's all right. So right now, I'm going to have my cake and eat it too, right off of the floor, and I'm going to go and have a shot of grappa because I need one. Thank you very, very much. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. I need the bottle. I need the bottle. I heard that the cake insurance came in pretty handy that day. Pretty lucky to have the cake 911. I guess so. And here comes the replacement cake. Just in time. Oh, there, over there, do the shot. Okay. You're the other Batanti. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. You remember? Do you know? The only thing I wasn't looking forward to was the receiving line, because I knew that was going to be real long. Yeah, that was a little brutal. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Now that everything and everybody was in place, it was time to relax and enjoy the night, including a performance from David's brother. You're still swimming around. We're hunting like a moon. Cause I've spent time, too much time Thinking about the life I almost left behind All day, all day I've dreamt about this day forever and I'm amazed Me too And I married the man of my dreams I love you I love you too Yes, but did you ever dream a bill would add up to this? The original budget we had to Claudio was $100,000. Well, the cake was well worth the $800. The insurance in itself paid off. Cake 911, I've never heard of it, but it came in pretty handy that day. Our invitations were well worth it. Um, they were different, they were unique, they were elegant, and it was well worth the $3,000. The $5,000 we spent on the photographer was a little steep in my eyes, but you know what? It's your wedding day. Everybody's got to remember it. And you know they say a picture says a thousand words. It was always a dream of my parents and Dave's parents to have li a live band, so it was well worth the $6,000 spent. Claudio did a spectacular job that day, really helped out Chinsi a lot, made my day a lot easier. His fee was $10,000, worth every penny. My dress was absolutely the dress of my dreams. It was beyond my expectations. 
The total cost of the dress was $11,000, which included the custom design, the accessories that were put on the dress, and the veil. And that was a very generous gift from my parents. Our decor, including our linens, flowers, centerpieces, everything came out beautiful that day. It was worth $12,000. The venue was absolutely amazing. It set the theme of the whole wedding day. And that price was $56,000, which was quite pricey, but we did have 525 people at our wedding. Our miscellaneous cost that night, including our limo, balloons, and our videographer came out to $29,450. What we actually spent was $122,250. Which put us over by $22,250. But? But, even though I keep getting this reoccurring pain, <laughs> but it was worth it, I think. It was worth it. It was the wedding of our dreams. The only wedding. That's right. The entertainment rocked, the balloons were popped, and their budget? Blown away. The only question left is, will Claudio be taking on a new assistant? How do you drop the cake? <laughs> really, really do. I met Scott and I thought, I'm gonna go out with this guy. So I became the first official stalker. So I really wanted to go out with him. Well, let's just say I didn't run too fast. Let's put it that way. Should I or shouldn't I? Because if you thought you were wondering as I was coming down the aisle, well, so did I, but I did that at home. Mark.